Hello viewers. Here we have a Honeywell fan. This is one of the turbo models. And I believe this was the largest one they made. Let's see here. I think this is from 1998 if I recall correctly. We have an information tag here. Which is indeed revealing, albeit upside down. I oh, know, is it upside down? No, just upside down the camera. It is indeed revealing it is from 98. It's hard to view it on the camera. Um, here's the information tag. Let's see if that shows up any better. I gotta zoom it in. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Okay, it's model HF810 and it draws 1.4 amps. That's quite a bit of power for a 15 inch fan. Which I would guess has a PSC motor. It is quite dirty. And uh, there's actually some hairball type thing in there that I need to get out before give it a test run because that's just going to make a mess. So let's see if I can sift that out of there. This is uh, some real quality footage here. And there's one of them. Let's see if I can get the second one out. Man, it doesn't look like it. Well, pull this out. I guess that's a little better. Let's toss it in the trash barrel. Okay. Alright. Um, the cord has been obnoxiously wrapped around here. do that. Now the older versions of these fans, with the 9 inch one at least, really lived up to its turbo name. The newer ones not quite so much, but the older ones are very strong. So I imagine that this one will be quite powerful. There's a, there's a tag on the motor. It reads DM 632-3 and the knob here is one of the push to turn ones. If you turn it without pushing it, it just doesn't do anything. You gotta push it down and then turn it. So that's kind of cool. So, um, let's get this going here. I will start it up on low. Gee, the plug is not the greatest. Oh my goodness. What happened to that? Okay, that's much better. Alright, um, I'll cut this heater off for a minute. Okay, now we'll start it up on low. Oh, there's all sorts of hair in there. Oh, gross. <sighs> Perhaps I should have done this outside. Oh, this is making a mess. Alright, well that's low. It's not really moving any air, presumably just because of how dirty it is. I mean, it's moving some air, just nothing to write home about. Very slow. Hopefully that's gotten most of a tear out of there. Let's bump it up to speed two. Oh, there's more hair in there. Alright, that's throwing some good air now. Oh, there's hair all over the place now. That's, yeah, actually, that's really moving some good air. 
I'm going to do pi and pi. Oh, this is hair. Uh, okay. So that made an absolute mess of the shop just after I cleaned, which is just fantastic. Um, well, yeah, it does work, and um, it moves a lot of air. I'm impressed with the airflow. So anyways, um, we'll do another video on this. We'll open it up and clean it out, service the motor, and give it a proper test run when there's no hair in it.